Hi, Yarna Bees. It's Sandy. How are you today? <sighs> I haven't been around. I've been MIA. And I'm so sorry. But I have had, we, me, Crochet Bee, have had a colossal mess of a week. Yes. Um, we've had so many things happen to us in the past week that we are, we're at our wits end. We are finished with all the crap. We are handing it up to the higher powers to say enough is enough. We're done. We want to move on. And, uh, it's just not happening. It's, we're trying to roll with the punches but it's just one thing after another, after another, and we're getting really sick of it. So, uh, okay. So first off, you guys know about my van. I was having uh, issues with my van. We went and we got it fixed. $500 chitching. Then the hot tub blew. Um, the filter, the, the canister that the filter was in literally blew. Um, George was in the hot tub. Thank God he didn't get hurt, but the seal broke and shattered the top of the hot tub canister part. And it went shooting up in the air. The filter went up in the air. The water went up in the air. It was just horrendous. Cha-ching, probably $500 and up to get that fixed. We don't know yet. They're in the process of trying to figure it out. And the fact that they wanted us to take our deck apart so that they can get in there to fix it. No. Uh, and then um, George went to go and get his brakes done on his van. Only to find out that the underneath of his van was so rusted that everything was about to fall out. And that they wouldn't fix his brakes because the van was undrivable. Cha-ching out of a van. Uh, so George is now taking over my van. So cha-ching, don't have a van. <laughs> don't have a vehicle, period. And now I'm housebound, which is okay because then I get to crochet more. So that's all good. Um, and then George, the, you remember Lucy? George's brand new red machine. Yeah. A part went on that one. And so he had to order a part for it. And his son is going to help him figure out how to fix it and put the, the pump back in so that he doesn't have to go to a technician, which would have cost him stupid buku amounts of money. So we're hoping to save a little bit there. Might cost us a gift card or something for his son. I don't know. Uh, and then what else happened? Something else happened. I can't remember. And then last night I was in bed. I rolled over and bazinga. I have a muscle in underneath my breast that has lodged itself into my rib so I can't take a deep breath um it's I don't even know how to fix it I'm I'm trying to take uh Robaxaset to try and get the swelling down so that uh maybe it'll dislodge itself I've tried stretching I've tried like oh the pain is unreal so if I'm not moving too much I'm kind of like eh. And I'm trying really hard not to take a, a deep breath, which is hard because when you yawn, you go, yeah, right. Deep breath. And that hurts like a mother. So there's that. So, yeah, so we haven't been on for a while because our whole life is crashing down around us and we're trying to uh, scratch our weight back up to the surface. Anyway, I... I've been watching everybody's videos. Mm. Mm -mm. I'm trying to yawn and I'm going, no, hell no. Hell to the no. Don't do it. 
Mm -mm. Um, so I've been watching everybody's videos. I haven't really been commenting. I've been on people's lives and I've kind of been lurking. So, uh, yeah, I know that Lisa from Lisa's Crochet is on right now with her daughter and I'm going, damn it, I'm missing it. But I really wanted to get this video out so that everybody didn't worry about me. Um, just bring help, okay? <laughs> send, send help because I'm drowning in all this crap. Um, George is beyond beyond, so we're trying really hard. Uh, okay, so anyway, um, I this has been a long time coming, and I'm so sorry, Reggie. I just, I'm life right um reggie from j hooked crochet did a she asked me and a bunch of others to be testers i've never been a tester before so it was really kind of cool i was very honored if you haven't seen her channel please go she is a wealth of information like a wealth of information i'm my god like i just I've talked about her before and it, she's just mind blown. Um, she, I just went on her live a couple days. Mm -mm, mm -mm, don't yawn. Uh, I went on her live a couple days ago and she was talking about crochet in fashion or crochet on the, the runway. Wow. <laughs> Go back and watch that video because, mm -mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If that's fashion, well, I don't know. Like, uh, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll have her link down below. <laughs> so anyways, she asked us to do the, uh, it's called the Moving Sands Beanie. And I'll tell you, I had so much fun doing this, doing this um, hat. The stitch was so much fun. So here it is. I didn't put a pom-pom on it. See? Isn't that nice? I really, really liked the way that this turned out. Uh, I have my headband on, but... Ah, there we go. Isn't that cute? I really liked it. I mean, you can do it as slouchy as you want, um, or you can do it more of a beanie style. But I really like this pattern. Uh, it's on her Etsy page now. I'll leave that link down below. And also, if you put in the code GET15, you will get 15% off of everything, anything in her Etsy store. Yay. Uh, so yeah, the yarn that I used for this was Heartland. This is the new Heartland. And of course I didn't bring my glasses in. It's hundred percent acrylic, 251 yards, 230 meters. It's a medium, um, yeah, medium four. And the color is King's Canyon. Isn't that beautiful? I just love this yarn. So, yeah, go and get the pattern for this beanie. It, you will not regret it. It is so much fun. I hate doing this kind of a border. I hate it with passion. But I did it um, because, well, she asked me to. Uh, but it actually wasn't that bad. Like I actually found it really easy. Mm. See, another thing that happened, my nail fell off. <sighs> um, but this is, this border is definitely meant for this beanie. I tried doing a front post back post with it. Didn't work very well. So, um, so definitely go try out this pattern. Uh, and with 15% off, like, hello, thank you. Uh, another thing is I put an order in with Kitchener Yarn Company. 
uh, not for yarn, believe it or not. Oh, I got fibers. Uh, I, I got, I was getting a cookie cutter and they're balls of yarn. I thought that was brilliant. I couldn't wait to get it. I ordered it like a month ago and I haven't received it. So I sent them an email, uh, just this morning to find out what is going on. But I totally forgot I ordered it, right? And this morning I got a letter or uh, uh, envelope and it had this in it. Oh, maybe I'll take it out. And I'm so confused. It's a wood tag. And it says... Temperature Blanket 2021. I don't do temperature blankets. I don't know what this is for. Um, yeah. Did anybody else receive these in the mail? If you know what this is about, please let me know because I am really kerfuffled. I have no idea. Um... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm really confused. Really confused. Also, I got a card from my friend Rosa Lee from Yarn It Out. And the card says, good friends, pod, pro, bleh, good friends provide each other with comfort, support, and feelings of being, of well-being. <laughs> So do good bras, so do good bras, but they never give the excellent advice that you do. <laughs> Ow. Oh God. I can't wear a bra right now. <laughs> That's why I've got this big thing on. Um, so thanks, Rosalie. Uh, it, today was a good day to get this card. I'm feeling pretty bummed out. <laughs> so... Okay, another thing that I got in the mail that I ordered was these. I'm so happy. They're finger, you know, the finger um, row counter. But look, they have bling on them. Can you see that? They've got bling. This one you might be able to see it better. Oh, Darn it, you can't really see it as good as what it's actually showing. See, they got bling. So I got a blue, a red, a white, a purple, and a pink. I'm going to be putting these in giveaways. Yep. I'll tell you, I never thought to have a finger counter before. And I, I got one in, I think it was a Hobie order that I received. I got one as a gift and I've been using, mm -mm. <clears throat> don't yawn. <laughs> I've been using it ever since I got it. Oh, Sorry, George is on the phone. Um, I have, I've been using it ever since, especially with making the Mr. Perzalots where you have to go in the round. It has helped tremendously, tremendously. Uh, so that's why when I saw these, I was like, oh yes, girl, there's bling on them. You put bling on it. Put bling on your finger. So yeah. So I'm going to be doing um, mini giveaways. So, yeah. So, there's that. so actually, maybe I'll do one now. Uh, I, mm, what should we, yeah. Okay. Put down in the comments below, bling. All capital letters. Bling. And uh, you will be entered to win one of these, okay, for this week. 
All right. Uh, I will end it on, let's see, what's today? Tuesday, next Tuesday. Next Tuesday will be the cutoff, and then we'll do one for the next week. Okay. All right. So uh, if you saw last video or video before that um, for Debbie, the Canadian crotcheter, she showed this and I thought it was brilliant. Uh, and I will leave the link down below for that. But it's called a tea bag. And if you've got a golfer in your life and you find it hard to buy things for that person, look at that. Isn't that the cutest thing? And it just folds up and it's like a tea bag and it puts all your golf teas in there. I thought that was great. It took me a minute to try and figure out the pattern because the part where you're making the pockets for the tea, I couldn't for the life of me figure it out. And because of the wording that they did. So, um, yeah, I, but I finally figured it out and I was like, oh, okay, this is easy. So I went one step further. So I designed something and if you get easily offended, please look away. But I thought this was funny as hell. Yes, it is what you think it is. And there's golf balls in here. And yes, they move. <laughs> I have it on a swivel, a swivel um, hook. And you can hang it on your golf cart, right? So I figure you can hang both of these on your golf cart as a little set. Um, and thank you to my sister, Sandy at leftist right crochet. I actually made these in flesh colors, but she's, you know, and I said, you know, I looked for blue golf balls because I thought, you know, that would be quite funny. She says, why don't you just do them in blue? Oh, pfft, brilliant. Like, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> so, yes. So now we have the blue ball, ball golf ball sack. Mm hmm. Yeah. So there you have it. I do have a pattern for this. And if you're interested, let me know down below. Um, I will probably be writing it up and putting it in my Etsy pay it Etsy store. Uh, so yeah, so this I think this would be a great gift for um, golfing. Uh, extraordinaires, <laughs> you know, for golfers in general uh you know his and hers kind of thing and whatever so yeah so that's that's what i i did yeah that's the cheeky side of me coming out <laughs> oh so mm -hmm. okay now that i've thoroughly offended probably half of my subscribers <laughs> doi creations has put a call out to do a cardigan challenge. I think it's called the hashtag cardigan challenge. And I went, me, me, I'll do it. I'll do it. So this is my entry. Oh, okay. So I have never put buttons on my cardigan before, but I decided to do it this time. So what I did was, padang, I did a granny square in a different color. And then I, it's really hard for you guys to see, but the bottom, it's like outlined in black. And then I did, whoop, then I did the arms to match. Oh, and then I did the front in black. Okay. Now, the reason why I did this is because, um, oh, my doll's coming apart here. 
hang on <laughs> anyway um the reason why i did it like this is because i was thinking about back in the 80s yes i'm dating myself um i loved the 80s right the 80s were my thing i'm i love my 80s music i love the styles and it just kills me when they say that it's retro now <laughs> i'm just like oh god i'm not that old am i so back then what they did was like the rockers and the punks and the, all of that what they would do is they would put big patches on the back of their jean jackets and stuff right whether it's you know uh, Motorhead or ACDC or whatever, White Snake, whatever. The big pat patches would be on that that part of the jean jacket in the back, and it um, it really looked cool back then. So that's kind of where where I got the idea for this to have a different backing. Uh, but I think it turned out really well. I put to black toggles on it, um, which was actually George's idea. Because I put it on and I was like, well, what do you think? And he says, well, are you going to put buttons on it? And I was like, I don't really put buttons on my, my sweaters. But I had the black toggles and I thought, that'll look great. So, yeah. So I will put a... Um, little video clip in here of me modeling it. <laughs> right. So, yeah, so that is my entry for um, DOY Creations hashtag uh, cardigan challenge. Hope I did good. <laughs> So I'm actually in the process of making another one in a different color. Uh, the color I used on this, oh, where is it? Hold on. Okay. Because I bought so much of it and I'm doing the Scorched Earth Challenge, I'm using Premier Serenity Chunky. You can't get this at Premier anymore. Um, I don't think. I'm not sure. Uh, this was like a sale thing, so I got a lot of it. Um, the color is Stormy. And I just, I thought, okay, well, I got to use up a lot of that yarn. So I did. Ow. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, <clears throat> I mean... It wasn't, I didn't use up as much as I thought I was going to, darn it. Because originally I was going to do the whole sweater in this color, but I wanted something different, something I'd never done before. And I think it turned out pretty good. I mean, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Yeah? Yeah? I think it's kind of got that vibe, you know? Anyways, um, on Sundays, I am going to be starting a new segment of my let me get back here of my um channel and it is going to be shout out sunday so i'm going to start doing shout outs again i haven't done them in gosh long time and i'm going to do it weekly so if you have a channel and you would like a shout out let me know uh, you must be subscribed, of course. And, um, yeah, so let me know if you want me to shout out your channel. And uh, give me an email at crochetacanada.gmail at gmail.com. <laughs> right here. And uh, I will put you on my list. Okay? Okay, I think I'm finished. I think that's enough torture for you guys. So I will talk to you. Oh, uh, also, um, I updated the Cawing Creations email, um, Etsy page. Uh, Charlene has more bags and stuff. And Michelle, my niece, has her jewelry up. 
So if you'd like to go and check that out, I've got that link down below as well. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's everything. Okay, I will talk to you. Oh, no, wait. Mm -mm. Ding, ding. Also, the traveling hook has now gotten into Rosalie at Yarn It Out's hot little hands. So keep an eye out there for her video. Uh, and yeah, I'm so excited. It's finally on its way again. And uh, Rosalie just received it today. So, yes, <laughs> I will leave all of these links down below. So go check them all out. Okay, I love you all. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.